Hey HUD House Hunters, it's Donnie Corum with Colorado Springs Foreclosure Deals. Today we're in front of 6407 Alibi Circle, Colorado Springs, Colorado, 80923 in the Stetson Hills subdivision. Before we go inside, I just want to let you guys know that we just hit 5,000 viewers to our YouTube site, and I have you guys to thank. Thank you so much for tuning into all the videos. We're building a huge viewership. We're selling a lot of properties because of these videos. So thanks again for tuning in, and please do keep tuning in. You're going to love the Alibi property. Let's go inside and take a look. The entryway in Alibi is everything I love about ranch style homes. Very open, very airy. This has vaulted ceilings right through the top of it here, so it feels huge in this room. This is sort of your living room area, so when you walk in, you put the couch and the TV set up and all that stuff here. Off to the side, we have the office. Now, currently this is a three bedroom, two bath, uh, which would be easy to modify to be a five bath five bedroom, excuse me, if we just finished out the basement. But right now we have an office in place of what would be the third bedroom. So um, nothing to do to make this a bit, anything but a bedroom. You would just add doors if you really wanted to give it the privacy. But other than that, this is pretty much just a bedroom slash office with glass doors. So we have a nice, huge, open kitchen. I love this kitchen. The first part of I love about it is these cabinets. Now these are the 42 inch upper cabinets. These are a nice upgrade to have, and there's a lot of them. There's a ton of cabinet space in this kitchen. It's an eat-in kitchen that's very spacious. It's got nice countertops and decent appliances. But again, with a 2004 year on this property, we're not expecting to find a lot of issues here. One of the cosmetic issues I want to point out is it seems like we were thinking about adding a yellow paint color to this kitchen. So they started it and didn't finish it. So you may want to paint that back white, or you may want to decide to go ahead and paint the whole kitchen the color of your choice. You've got some options. So you can see here they painted this kind of a tone of green. Other than the green color, this thing's good to go. I wouldn't worry about making any changes to this. I like the really high ceilings that this has, uh, which is a nice feature and something in this price range. And at only $180,000, you're comfortably in a 230 to 250 neighborhood. So there's already a lot of built-in equity in this property. And when you add some of the minor amenities this needs, you're going to have a lot of equity to take home when you're ready to sell it. Finally, I want you to see the master bedroom and bathroom. It's pretty sweet. Um, again, huge bedrooms, so a pretty good size, nice tall ceilings in this room. Not a lot of stuff that we need to fix, but I do want you to see the bathroom back here. So you've got your vanity that stretches all the way out here, kind of doubles as a desk area, and then you've got a nice tile surround on an extremely deep garden level tub, so that's a nice touch for those of you who like to take baths. Back here, ladies, we've got a huge walk-in closet. Plenty of room to put all your stuff. And then you've got your toilet room back there. So not quite a five-piece master bath. I guess you'd call this a four-piece bath because the shower and the tub are one and the same. But still, it's got some nice amenities and features in this thing that make it very livable right out of the gate. Before we head downstairs in the basement, I just want you to see the other bathroom that's in here. So this is a, the second of two bathrooms. We've got a nice tile surround here with some interesting design elements in here. And again, this is a full bath. So the, this is kind of your guest bathroom slash second full bathroom for the other bedrooms. You've got your master bath, then you have this bathroom. So that's three bedrooms and two baths currently. But we're going to head on down to the basement. I'll show you how we can make this a five bedroom, three bath pretty easily. Come on down. So we're in the basement down at the Alibi property, and one of the things I want to point out is this is a walkout basement. Now from an appraisal angle, this doubles the functional square footage of the property. Now we all know that a basement has value. However, when it's a walkout basement, the square footage value is the same as the upper level square footage. So what that means is the money you put into this basement is probably going to cost you $15 to $20 a square foot to finish out is worth the same $100 plus a square foot that you're getting out of the upstairs. I like basements in general, but from a valuation standpoint, this is the appraiser talking, you do a lot better on value when you have a walkout basement. And the only difference between a walkout basement and a non-walkout basement is typically the lot location. Certain lots allow for it where we have this decline, certain lots do not. So that's just something to factor in. Now we're in a basement, but as you can tell, it hasn't gotten dark in here. There's not power on. It's just that the fact we're on a level basement that walks out means that we have a lot of natural light in here. So I was telling you how we're going to make this a five bedroom. Well, by code, each bedroom must have a window. 
Okay, so we're going to stick a bedroom here, and then if you wanted a second one, we're going to stick a bedroom here, and then you just have a great room where you have the walkout and a certain area back here for your washer and dryer hookups. Okay, so those are your options to do that. However, you still have more basement space to work with. As we head back this direction, here's another option for a bedroom. If you wanted to put it here, you can just corner this off and make this another bedroom, or you could leave this open. Back here we have the plumb-ins for the bathroom. So you have a lot of options on this thing, but with some very minor additions, just basically finishing out the basement, you're gonna add another 1,300 square feet of living space. So we got 2,600 square feet of space on this property. 13 of it's done. You come in and finish out the basement to add the other 1,300. You easily have a $230,000, $240,000 property that we're buying today for 180. So this is a pretty sweet deal on a property that's in move-in ready condition. Let's check out the backyard because I really like that feature as well. Come along. Here we are walking outside at the Alibi property. Now, raised ramp, right? So what you have with the walkout basement is you have an upper level deck. And as you're gonna see when we get down there, you actually have a lower level deck as well. Before we head down though, I really want you to see how much effort went into this backyard. So here we have it. You've got your flag rocks down there you've got a fire pit out to the back and then you still have some area and you know some space for some grass this is awesome the amount of money that went into landscaping this property would be staggering and you get to buy this thing ready to go with the landscaping all already done that's a pretty sweet deal on an awesome backyard hangout i really like that looks like you got a little bit of use too so you stick your logs in there throw the marshmallows on top and you're good to go the walkout concludes out here so this is your second option for covered outdoor uh, space. You could just as easily put some of your patio furniture and stuff like that out in this direction. So I really do like having an upper level deck and still keeping a lower level patio. Let's go ahead and recap Alibi and get you going. We're standing in front of Alibi Circle, which is in the Stetson Hills subdivision. Basic cross streets are going to put you at right around Dublin and power. So this is a northeast location, real easy access to powers, keeps you close to Shriver Air Force Base, Peterson Air Force Base, and the powers corridor so you can pretty much get anywhere you need to go in town. Right now this home has three bedrooms and two full baths with a two car attached garage which is also very large, but by finishing out the basement you could easily make this a five bedroom, three bath home with a two car garage and comfortably double the amount of square footage which is going to add substantially to the amount of equity in this property. As always guys don't delay on this. The nicer newer HUD properties tend to not stick around long. You can even though this is a higher priced home at 180 you can still purchase this home for only hundred dollars down. Now you compare that to the typical down payment of three percent which is five thousand to six thousand dollars you can walk into this home today for only a hundred bucks down. It's a sweet deal but only one person's gonna get it. So please pick up the phone call me and let me know. Numbers at the bottom of the screen hit us up on the website at www.call springsforeclosuredeals.com. Thank you so much, guys, for getting us to 5,000 viewers. That's an awesome number. I'm looking forward to doubling that in the next couple of months. Thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next one.